Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, yes, we are going to start hauling some stuff. I'm going to show you what I purchased from Macy's and Nordstrom. I think those are the only two places in this box. If it's not, I will mention it. But there will also be a Ulta haul coming up. It's all dependent on when I get those boxes. If you've been here, you know how I feel about Ulta. They started shipping to me and it got here in two weeks and then out of nowhere, it took like a month or a month and a half because they put it on a ship. I don't know why. Just know that when those stuff comes in, another haul will be coming your way separate for Ulta. So we're just gonna jump into it because uh, some of these things have been waiting in my closet for a little bit and they've been sanitized, all of that stuff. They're all. They're all ready to be used. The one thing I don't have with me and I'm just choosing to say because I haven't received the shipping confirmation yet is the Pat McGrath Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 palette. I did purchase that. I'm hoping to get the shipping confirmation in the next couple days because the website says it'll take 7 to 10 days to get the box and all that shipment stuff ready. So I'm going to give them a few more days. If I don't hear from them, I will contact, but I did get an order confirmation for it. So wherever I decide to put the Divine Rose 2 photo, I will be getting that in the mail hopefully soon. I'm going to start off with this awesome deal. I was so happy when I saw this. This is perfume. This is the Juicy Couture Le Fleur. I don't know how to speak French, but it's not the like perfume version, which for me is more desired because I have a very sensitive nose, but I'm literally on the last like sprays of this. And I said, okay, I'm going to buy the Chanel. The the big full size five ounce Chanel. It's expensive, but I have like this much left of the Chanel. These are 2.5 ounce bottles. So together it's five ounces and this is nine, usually 92 bucks. I think I got it for like 72. $20 off and now I don't have to be so adamant about getting the Chanel one because I have I have something to back me up that doesn't require me spending a butt ton of money on perfume. I love the scent of Chanel, but it's just, it's too expensive right now and I bought the Pat McGrath. So we're gonna, we have something to hold us over for quite a bit of time. I got it guys. I got the pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I, I did a would I buy it? Probably way back when this first came out. And I was like, I don't like that outside box. I don't like it. I still don't like it. It's like, it's odd. You know the headboard that you, you have on your bed? Kind of has a similar feel to it. Those really popular white headboards. But this is the actual palette. Sorry, it might be really reflective. And then inside, I did take a peek, but I didn't swatch anything. You have this little film. Oh no, the names are not on the actual palette. Gosh dang it. That sucks. I would have preferred the names on here because that means I actually have to keep this film now. I think I might just tape it to the mirror since I don't use the mirrors but this is the palette here. Definitely my shades. I'm more interested in knowing about the formula than I am about the shades because to be honest I do have similar ones. I just wanted to try the formula. Next, uh, don't judge me. I'm actually not going to judge myself, guys. Um, these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I almost said Dip Brow. This one I get in medium brown. And it comes with a mini size uh, clear brow gel, which is awesome because I love, I love having free brow gels. Don't go buy them. And this retails for $34, but you get the full kit for $24. I love my Brow Wiz. And I opened my last... My last backup um, a couple days ago, so I, I was in need of, of new ones. So I do have backups. However, I feel like I don't have to show you what that is because I've used it a ton in my videos. So I know how that works. But I also did finally get a mini size of this Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I got the shade 3.5. I don't know, I hear, I hear so much about these pencils and I want to see how comparable they are to the Anastasia one. Yes, okay. Love the color, very similar to the medium brown from Anastasia and the kicker. 
it's waxy. It's waxy and it's a little dry. I hate creamy brow pencils. I really do. I know a lot of people love them. I just can't stand them. I sweat too much and I'm too oily to have that kind of responsibility left to my brows. So we're going to be trying this out, but based on first swatch, it's looking promising. I'm excited. This next product is not from Macy's or Nordstrom's. It's from ASOS. I got the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I wonder if this is on Ulta because I purchased majority of these things before I placed my first Ulta order. So I should have just bought it from there, but this is the shade Translucent. The more I use my old powder, the more I realize how pink it looks on my skin. And I am more like golden yellow than I am pink so i figured if i get a translucent if there is any color i find it usually leans more yellow so i got a backup of this i should be running through the one i currently own pretty soon i've already hit pan on it and it's running a little old so i might try the translucent first and see how i like it and then maybe give the other one away just because not liking the color too much. Moving along, this one I got from Macy's. This is the Stila Shimmering Heights Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow Set. I have heard up and down the aisle how amazing these things are, but I don't want to commit to a full size if I don't really like it. So I got these three different shades. Awesome. I get to try variety. And I think this was on sale for like $12.50. There couldn't have been a better time for me to try these out than a sale of three minis because I would be upset with myself if I tried to purchase a full size and didn't end up liking it. So the first shade we have here is in Kitten. This is like the forever shade. If there's one thing that I think of when it comes to Stila in terms of popularity, it's the shade Kitten. It's not even these products, it's the shade Kitten. If you guys have been on makeup YouTube since like, I don't know, 2011, you would know how popular this shade was. Then we have this reddish brown in Twig. I'm, I'm swatching them on my hand first before I show you. And then lastly, I have Cloud, which looks like... I don't have to explain it, like a lilac, a champagne lilac color. In order of swatch, kitten, twig, and cloud. These look pretty promising and, I, and I'm assuming that they dry down pretty matte and will stay in place. The shimmer on it looks amazing, so I'm actually happy that I got that, but more importantly, that I got it on sale. Next, from Nordstrom again, we have a two Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize, and I ended up getting the shades, where is it placed? I have Star Gold and Rose Gold. Please be the shades that I was wanting. I try to see swatches, but again, it's like, you know, oh my gosh, it looks like a little dollop in there. How cute is that? Now this, this is looking like the shade that I, I was hoping to get. Yes, it is. That shade right there. I love cream shadows. I don't use them a ton, but I find that they're very reliable. Yes, this is the star gold, I think it is. Rose gold, I'm sorry. So... This is star gold, and then we have a rose gold here. Oh, yay! It's exactly the shade I wanted it to be. Yes, thank you. Thank you. And that is the shade here. How stunning will that be? Just against my complexion now, on my hand, it looks amazing. So I can't, I can't wait to see what this looks like on the lids. Super, super, highly, highly excited about those. Oh my goodness, that might just have to be my next eye shade for whatever video i'm gonna do after this so we have two blushes i don't know if i got any other blushes from ulta i think I, i'm pretty sure i didn't so i got a clinique cheek pop i'm so excited and i ended up getting ginger pop like i predicted i would so here we have it <gasps> Okay, I'm ready to swatch it. Okay. Nothing gets me excited like blush gets me. Oh, man. It's kind of sheeny. I would call it, this is similar to Max um, Satin Blushes. Maybe a smidge, a smidge more 
like sheeny, but it's beautiful. Oh, look at that color. Mm, yes. Nothing gets me excited like a blush gets me excited. I feel like for a majority of people, it's eyeshadow palettes. They look at a palette and it's like, oh breath of fresh air you know hearts flying everywhere for me it has always been blush i love blush so much i'm gonna swatch this some more okay i'm using this look this on the lids the this on the cheeks we're doing it we're doing it next video this is from lime crime the only thing i've ever tried from them was their liquid lipsticks got rid of all of them at this point they would have been like way beyond expired if i kept them this is the software blush and it's cream to powder i found this pretty interesting this was not on my radar but i did um see it there and i was kind of intrigued so here we go this is in the shade hyper link Got it on my finger here. It is a pretty shade. I was hoping it'd be a little bit more peach than it is uh, pink, but we'll see, we'll see. Not exactly like over the moon about the swatch, but you gotta put it on your face, right? Okay, I'm just gonna insert this part into the video. I actually was done filming, but I didn't realize I didn't include one of the things that I got. This is from Benefit. This was 20 bucks, 20 bucks for the entire thing. I saw the opportunity and said, a hula bronzer is usually like, I think almost $30, if not 30. And this was 20 bucks for the hula bronzer and a full size of their real mascara. What? I don't need to buy mascara for the next 17 years. So I got the hula bronzer, got rid of that brush because it looks unnecessary. But finally going to try this thing. I'm so excited. At 20 bucks, it's practically $10 because you got to split it in half of that mascara. I've actually had the Their Real before. This was like, this was all the rage when it first came out. It was at a time when, you know, higher end mascara was becoming important in the industry. It's, it's really not that big a deal. I think for the most part, I would stick to drugstore mascara, but hey, 10 bucks. 10 bucks this bag free why not i thought it was a good deal so back to regular programming i truly apologize for all the sweating that you probably saw through this video but it's so hot i say it all the time but it's literally freaking hot today and i've got three lights shining on me my air conditioner is not strong enough to combat all of this heat but i really do hope that you enjoyed this haul video be looking forward to some first impressions hopefully when i get my ulta haul soon fingers crossed if you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos please be sure to leave them in the comments down below so that i can add them to my list of video ideas if you guys like this makeup look go ahead and check me out on instagram first link in the description box down below where i post a photo of this makeup look along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.